in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed if God wants to help you, he will bring you in contact with those institutions. But for this impartation, there are men. It is true. The ability to discern these men and the graces that they carry is real discernment. And it will open you up to a world of power and a world of possibility. The sea always had the ability to divide. But nobody was carrying the grace that would make it obedient. So the sea looked like it was disobedient until Elijah came. Are we together now? If the sea never parted, we will write a book and say seas don't part. Be careful when your experience concludes certain dimensions of God because there are graces sent to trivialize what you call mountain every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it challenges are not generic please find a way of believing this sir the Bible says Saul the son of Kish lost his donkey the father's donkey and for three days they kept going around searching for that donkey and the donkey could not have the discernment to go back home are we together but as soon as they meet this being called samuel they didn't even tell him what was wrong the moment there was an eye contact the donkey started going back home what did the donkey see read your bible samuel told them he said we came and said don't talk to me about donkey there are more serious issues the donkey will go back home just because a man met a man and God himself has respect for that system. When God rejected Saul as king, he would have anointed David to be the next king. But Saul, the bridge for that impartation was still negotiating. I mean, Samuel was still negotiating for Saul. And you thought God would say, no, I am God. I push you aside. Please bring another prophet. God had to come down himself and meet samuel and explain things he said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king you are delaying another man's rising go to the house of jesse david would have been having dreams of the throne but a man not a demon was stopping his rising because he was the one giving that prophetic office are we blessed when i learned this I put my hand on my head I say my God it means there are people who may never rise in life and may never rise in ministry because we have uh, we have respectfully speaking and I'm not just speaking to house on the rock I'm speaking to the body of Christ we have this growing disdain for the sacrifices of people there are people who are standing upon altars that drip with blood as a testament of their covenant and their pain and their many years of sacrifice with God hallelujah yes. let me show you a scripture i don't know if we have the time to walk this out anyway Numbers chapter 27 from verse 18 to 20. Numbers 27. Let's hurry up because we have to pray in this place. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun. Watch this. A man in whom 
the spirit whom is the spirit and do what that the spirit is upon him already it's not an excuse read your bible god is saying the spirit of god is already on him he says but lay your hands on him and you will see what happened next verse and set him before Eliaza the priest and before all the congregation and give him a charge of their sight take a man who already has received the spirit lay hands on him deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 let's walk this please deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 deuteronomy 34 and verse 9 please read it if you're a christian one to read and joshua the son of Nun was full of what the spirit of wisdom for moses had laid his hands on him and the children of israel hearkened unto him and did as the lord commanded moses keep that scripture there full of the spirit of wisdom the bible just said he had the spirit but there was a dimension he did not have the spirit of wisdom that was required for leadership and the honor that compels loyalty from followers that's what moses transferred to him do not make what you have received stop you from receiving what you need please find a way of believing this most times what we have received becomes a limitation for what we need oh i'm preaching he's preaching too i can sing he can sing too and you do not realize joshua would have said i already have the spirit even god said it to you and moses would look at him and say what a child you don't know how stubborn these people are that's why there is a grace that makes men hear you they don't hear you because you are speaking it's called a hear ye him anointing this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased he said hear ye him when that grace is on your product it's impossible to remain small hear ye him compels situations and structures and systems to reckon with the dealings of god upon your life joshua the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom not for god desired to give him for moses laid his hands on him number two numbers <laughs> numbers chapter 11 we'll start reading from verse 16 goodness 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 and the lord said unto moses watch this gather unto me 70 men of the elders of israel whom thou knowest to be elders of the people an elder had a has stamina he says and bring them to the tabernacle that they may stand here with thee go to verse 17 and i will come down and talk with thee there and i will take of the spirit which is upon thee and i will put it upon them and they shall bear the burden of the people that thou may not bear it alone i wrote a few scriptures so that we'll hurry up now go to verse 24 24 and 25 i sense a strong anointing in this place already 24 and 25 and moses went out and told the people the words of the lord and gathered the 70 men of the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle 25 and the lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the spirit that was upon him and gave it to the 70 elders and it came to pass when the spirit rested on them they prophesied and did not cease look up this is one man carrying a spirit and yet he's quiet and part of that spirit came on 70 elders and none could keep quiet and stand yet one man was carrying it and he was quiet elders part of what is in one man comes upon elders and they kept prophesying from morning till night and yet one man was carrying it with self-control and just moving quietly believe me when i tell you all men are not equal when moses died satan was even looking for his dead body he still want the dead body was still useful
the Bible tells us that impartation is a mystery that can transfer possibilities from one man to the other that means watch this when God tells you he has designed for you a life of victory and glory he says that on the strength of the provisions that he has made available to you that if discerned can bring you into supernatural dimensions of grace now there are many believers who love God sincerely they love him with all their heart but they have not discerned that the results that we command depend on the dimensions and the quality of the grace that is upon our lives there are many people who would open the bible and say ah, he said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed and now you go and behave like the sons of skiva and now lay hands on the sick or lay hands on people that are demonized and you find out that nothing happens and you are wondering did the word lie the word did not lie there is an operation to it every one of you seated here listen to me the dimension you seek to enter there is a grace that is an usher that leads you there you don't go alone when you want to step into dimensions life will ask you what is the grace that is bringing you here otherwise you have no business here you want to sing like the great you want to prophesy like the great and so when god organizes this conference listen it's not just a time of teaching alone it's also a time of transference of graces now let me tell you something about the apostolic ministry follow this the hallmark of the, the apostles are not preachers apostles are spiritual administrators they coordinate spiritual activities within given territories according to the measure of grace given to them that means it is part of the apostolic and the prophetic office to supervise the health and the efficiency of the body of christ within a territory and they do that by enlightenment and then by introducing the graces they discern as cast within a territory so that the saints on the strength of that grace can rise to those dimensions so the first key to a true apostolic ministry is not teaching is discernment you can enter a city and spot on know the graces that are not available and the graces that need to be upgraded and that now becomes your assignment this is why the apostolic grace can become anything in any meeting based on the grace that needs to be supplied you can meet a man who is not a teacher but if that territory is looking for the teaching grace for that meeting he will change to become a teacher so that people can receive that grace are we blessed but that what comes upon you please find a way of believing this is what controls what is around you life does not just obey you there is a grace that when you possess it will cause men to come to you with their resources there is a grace that makes people loyal to you i'm a good person that's not enough there is a grace It's the same grace that made the lions quiet when daniel was there they didn't do it for everyone so we know we know the grace is not upon everybody once upon a time the apostles did not have this grace they still had the heart but the grace was not there and their results showed that that grace was not upon them and then a time came when peter received the bible says even his shadow was healing the sick there was a time in my life i prayed for the sick they were not healed many preachers will not admit this I prayed for people with HIV, cancer, barrenness. Nothing happened. I was a sincere preacher who loved the Lord. I had to come to a point in my life where I broke my pride and said, Do you know what? God, thank God for what God is doing in your life. But this grace is not there. And the thing with grace is, is that if it's not there, it's not there. Period. You can act like it is there. If it is there, it speaks instantly. I'm saying that because something is about to come on someone so of your father O oh Saul you did not know that the grace for royalty and the prophetic will come upon you but now that you encountered Samuel when you honor men you don't honor bodies you honor the spiritual investment the sacrifice of alignment that has made them custodians of those dimensions of spiritual reality 
I wish I were lying. I would have just said I'm sorry. But this is true. Suffer it to be so. You've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings. Many anointings. And my assignment among other things is as God grants me grace to travel and strengthen the body of Christ and help the men and the women of God that God is using in every city. Among the many things is the ability to supply that grace. And I've been privileged by God to be given unique experiences. I don't talk too much about these experiences because I want the faith and the confidence of people to be built on the word. I have met the saints of old. I have met Jesus the Christ himself. We're about to pray. Jesus gave me an instruction that I will never disobey for as long as I live. When I encountered him, there was a light that came from him to me. And he told me it to every city and nation you travel to there must be someone in that meeting that that light that came from you to him must also come upon that person my friend look at me there is an anointing coming on you this guy take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ So I know that my time is up, but this is our final service and you are going to pray and cry your heart. Some of you is for your ministry. The, you've been praying and fasting and say, Lord, take us to a new level. Time does not change anything. Time only reveals. It is what is upon you that defines what is around you. There is a grace for influence. Influence does not come with age influence does not necessarily come even with your educational prowess there is a grace that compels people and territories to listen to you it is true there is a king maker anointing people don't just become kings there is a grace that enthrones when that grace is upon you no matter where you are even in the cave of adulam it will not stop till you sit on the throne that is the grace politicians need that is a grace that people of influence need. Not just for self-aggrandizement. It's for the purposes of the kingdom. And so what is going to be happening here in a few minutes is a distribution of these spiritual possibilities that you take to yourself and your destiny a portion of spiritual reality that you did not come with as at the beginning of this conference. There is a grace that causes the book of remembrance to be opened. People don't just remember you because you are on earth. No. The Bible says, and that night, then the king could not sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. There were many people who had done good, but he said, what shall be done to this man? Listen. In Esther chapter 2, a village girl, pastor, called Hadassah, is attempting to contend for the position of queen. And while other ladies were learning how to walk, how to dress, one who was the keeper of the king's virgins called Haggai called her he said let me tell you a secret there is an oil rub it on yourself for one year I know the king I know what he wants don't mind these things they are doing there is an oil some aloes keep rubbing on yourself and then Esther chapter 2 and verse 17 the Bible says when Esther stood before Ahasuerus it says the king loved Esther above that means he was considering others before she came but as soon as esther shows up with that oil she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so he set the royal crown of her head and made her queen instead of vashti listen to me stop praying about your request obtain the grace that makes that prayer a testimony otherwise it will remain a prayer point you want to build i agree it takes more than money i tell you the truth it takes more than money there is a grace that builds there is a grace for territory he dug a well and the philistines covered it he dug another well they covered it 
he dug the third one and they left him and he called it Rehoboth he said God has given me my own space oh I'm tired of being a tenant there is a grace it's not just by saying let me save and get money there's a place for that but first things first there is a grace that when you carry that grace your portion within a territory must be given to you do you believe what I'm sharing with you? Yes, it's true. So we're about to pray. Because God wants to insist that if you call it activating the supernatural, then your life, you are supernatural when there are gaps in the explanation of your results. Your result cannot be all scientific. Oh, I know it is one plus one equals to three. No, there has to be an equation in your life that only God can explain. And if it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous. If it's man, you don't clap for me for walking. Walking is human. But when I fly, another agency is now supporting me. Please hear me. Some of your families are at the mercy of what you are about to receive. Some of our ministries are at the mercy of what we're about to receive. This is not human worship, not at all. We are only stewards of this mystery by the privilege of the election of grace. We have been made stewards, communicators of these dimensions. And that if you can discern, Elijah told Elisha, if you can discern, he says my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof i've had the privilege to meet a few people who have had contacts with god's generals as we call them i'm a student of revival i've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people i've had the opportunity like a bee carrying many anointings even some that i don't need in my own life but for the sake of destinies House on the rock if you will believe a time came in my life when the Lord told me after a series of experiences he said from today you have entered the overflow anointing Star, I don't know who this man is but I'm seeing the angel of the Lord pour oil on him the Lord is shifting you to a new dimension in the spirit I don't know who you are but this man will become a wonder in this territory this man the hand of the Lord is upon him and the Lord is rolling away everything that looks like the limitation of yesterday didn't you sing it we are here for you come and rise up on your feet just pray in the spirit in one minute father this is a moment of destiny it's a time for my heart to receive just few minutes and we're done shabalakato sabranda gagabalato siyata outside pray that in the name of Jesus I draw strength from the realm of the spirit I tap into the economy of heaven hallelujah hallelujah the anointing of the spirit is upon this woman that's your wife there is a dimension of the prophetic that the Lord is shifting this woman into in the name of Jesus I stretch my hand step into that dimension husband you to come there is a dimension of grace both you and your wife two of you 
are stepping into that grace i don't know you but you will never be the same take that grace now fresh fire upon your life you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same father the grace for my destiny the next level of my life release it upon me lift your voice and begin to pray someone is praying outside pray there is no distance there is no barrier in the spirit sir please this man and his wife come I knew the Lord was going to anoint you both but I was just waiting for his timing while we were talking there please lift your hands you and your wife it's time for you to step into a new season in ministry father in the name of Jesus take that grace now both of you I release that grace upon you you will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus you will never be the same now please hear me I want to pray and I want to release the grace for speed please hear me as I pray this grace the hand of God is going to come on so many people here please whether you are an usher or not help them bring a few of them that you can bring out they will begin to run physically as though is by the spirit right now at the count of three I declare father over the city of Port Harcourt over house on the rock i declare at the count of three the grace for speed one two take that grace take that grace i shift you by the spirit no more delay no more delay no more delay no more delay i cause delay from your destiny here at House on the Rock, activate conference. Karato Shalakata, Ebreketeketekerekosiata. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. Shalakata bradakato shalema. Embragadegodo shiata. I'm seeing the number 31. The healing anointing. A strong anointing for the healing ministry. Some of you have prayed. You have fasted at the count of three. Oh God, like a mighty wind, may that ministry be activated over this land. Take that grace right now. Take that grace right now. The power to heal the sick. The power to deliver the oppressed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just a few minutes and we are done for this service. My God. Do you know this song? That's what I hear in my spirit. There is a grace for restoration where people can receive back time 
I want to release that grace upon you right now father in the name of Jesus the son of the living God that the years that the canker worm has eaten at the count of three I declare that that grace falls upon your life one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace restoration of time restoration of things in the name of Jesus Christ I'm going to pray for the sick shortly who is Juliet Juliet I'm hearing a name Juliet who is that Juliet please come quickly just two three minutes Juliet no the Juliet I'm seeing is wearing a maroon dress like maroon you are wearing some is I think maroon or ox blood something like that is there someone like that what's your name madam Juliet I want to pray for you you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life Rebecca I'm hearing the name Rebecca 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 this is what I'm hearing in my spirit Rebecca madam I want to pray for you this is your daughter you are Julia too I will pray for you a member of this church I want to pray for you madam don't worry let me talk to you please give her the mic no no don't, don't it doesn't mean you hold it this lady the Lord is opening my eyes what's your name huh? please don't come out at random please please Juliet what's the name of your daughter her name is Jack. ah I have to because what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing someone inside a coffin already and they are saying it's cancer that killed her what does she have Huh? Oh dear, our mic is not working. Please help us. Praise the Lord. We have to pray. She has cancer. This is what I'm telling you that I'm, that I'm seeing. But the Lord himself is about to step in. You believe that? Please stand up, madam. There is a name that is above every other name. And we are going to pray. What's her name? Chiamaka. Chiamaka. Rosaline, 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 you are in the choir. Rosaline, who is that? Is there someone like that? Rosaline, is she in the choir? Turn things around. That's my prophecy for you. look at me the month of january february is a strange month of lifting for your family here at house on the rock you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life in the name of jesus ma let us pray stretch your hands towards this woman and let us agree hold my hands madam in the name of jesus christ let the mercy of god speak for you speak for your baby in the name of jesus christ and for you madam i pray that the lord himself will perfect your health let your blood be cleansed in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone here has please don't be embarrassed you don't have to come out someone here has the issue of blood whether it's your circle or not go out now and check it has stopped right now go out right now and check this is whether it's your monthly circle or not very painful you've had an issue go please use the restroom now and check we have just five ten minutes and then we're done juliet i want to pray for you first bank you walk in first bank this is i'm saying that you walk in first bank 
I have to pray for that person. You work in First Bank here in this city. Sir, I want to pray for you. There is a grace for wealth that God wants to put upon your life. This is not just about the bank. This is God increasing you. Because I'm seeing that soon you will not even be there again. I'm seeing you doing oil and gas. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, I pray that God will show you mercy and grant you access to this grace for the sake of his kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wow. I just saw a wind. There are many prophetic worshippers. It's a grace for prophetic worship. At the count of three, that grace is going to be resting on people. And I'm glad Minister Dunsin is in this place. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I don't know where they are, but I just saw that wind and I hear prophetic worship. There is a grace that is coming upon you. Father, I pray there are men and women who must sing songs, songs of the Spirit. At the count of three, may that anointing take that grace. One, two, three. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A dimension of prophetic worship. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord take you to higher levels and dimensions in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. I can't remember why I called you out. In the name of Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five ladies in that family. Experiences. There are men who have paid their price with God and have been able to access power to be a blessing to the church so make no mistake of thinking that this is some funny demonic thing no 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 not at all in the name of Jesus Christ laughter is symbolic of victory in the spirit why God does the things that he does this is not just some superstitious things I prophesy to you and to your families that that which brings shame and gloominess by the spirit of grace may it live your life forever leave your family forever and I also prophesy to someone here who is tapping into this testimony the seasons of crying over your loved ones and over your life I bring them to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ are you seeing that the laughter is over it was not about superstition God bless you. Lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick now. Can you lend me five more minutes, Pastor? I just sense that God is doing something in this place. Oge Chuku. Is it Oge or Oge Chuku? Oge Chuku. My God. Come. This man's life is about to change. The Lord is telling me that he will use you as an example of what service can do to a man. Okay, is this not the young man that escorts us or something? You are the one driving. The Lord is saying I should tell you that he's going to use your life as a testimony of what service can do. Let me tell you this. Fear people who serve you. They are climbing mysterious ladders in the spirit. My friend, I stand in the open room, not in, in, in private, and I prophesy to you in the presence of your pastor and the servants of God here. According to the time of life, I speak three months, one, two, three, over your life. May you shift to a dimension of grace, a dimension of wealth, a dimension of power even by the spirit of the living God and I pray that that which brings shame and reproach to your life it will live like smoke before the wind in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you sir it pays to serve it truly pays to serve let me pray for the sick right now you're trusting God for a miracle lay your hands right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch please make contact with your chest let's rebuke infirmity Something is happening here. The healing anointing is about to flow. God is a healer. 
is a restorer now listen please pastor has given me the privilege of five minutes this is what will happen i will rebuke infirmity in here out everywhere now very quickly just so that we can bring glory and honor to the with me house on the rock in the name of jesus in the name of jesus shout a loud amen, amen. in the name of jesus amen. now two people are going to shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone when that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to flow in this place i honestly don't know why god does this sometimes two people now we're ready to pray for the sick i rebuke every spirit of infirmity in the name of jesus shout a believing amen i rebuke i rebuke every devil of infirmity from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet my god such an anointing i declare be healed now help them please be healed now be healed now every blood condition be healed now your genotype that you desire changed we change it now i command migraine headaches the lord is healing migraine in the name of jesus i'm seeing the lord heal high blood pressure be gone in the name of jesus be gone in the name of jesus I mentioned the issue of blood and I'm seeing do it again in the name of Jesus I command that irregular cycle to stop now every malignant growth around your abdominal region I cause it let it go now anyone who cannot use your ears properly I declare your ears open now every blind eye be open now in the name of jesus christ every bone condition here hear the word of the lord i declare be straightened be made whole now someone is being healed from peptic ulcer in the name of jesus peptic ulcer i'm seeing at least four ladies lump in your breast i cause it now weakness weakness in the body you can't stand for long in the name of jesus be healed now there's someone you have a problem with your throat your neck or your throat i don't know what that problem is the power of god is touching you now be healed in the name of jesus severe pain around your abdominal region be healed in the name of jesus you find out that whether it's cold or hot your body is consistently hot in the name of jesus i come against it now whether i mention your case or not here at activate 2020 be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus, in, name of jesus. in two minutes very quickly we're out of time I like you to check yourself if you are coming from outside please do let the protocol know that you are coming for healing so that they can allow you to come very quickly the power of God has touched several people I like you to leave your seat check yourself quickly just come here right now let's celebrate miracles in this place are you seeing what God is doing in this place my God check yourself check yourself very quickly make your way boldly to the front let's celebrate them as they come inside outside the power of God has touched you just line them here we confirm them and um just have a few people come quickly are you celebrating what god is doing here those coming from outside check yourself if you're coming please rush please rush please rush creator of the universe what can you do what can you do
coming. You are I went home and, and I felt um, a pain at my side. And a couple of years ago, I done um, test and they said I had ovarian cysts. Ovarian cysts. And then I even came with the pain today. When he talked about blood, then today I just felt like tap was running. But when he said that, I don't feel like I'm completely. running anymore. Praise the Lord. Any pain. Any pain. It's, it's gone. gone completely. Yes, it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. This particular headache. Please help us with the mic. I, my, down my throat. And for, for some time it stopped. Only for me as I came today. It didn't start out. I've been feeling so weak. Yet what happened to you now? Now it's, I'm healed. Completely. And I asked God, why now? He said so that he can settle it once and for all. In the name of Jesus. Come, madam. Oh, Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Next person, very quickly. Praise the Lord. I've, I've always desired My God, uh, miracles a are genotype change. I, when a pastor mentioned my case, I, I received a flash that uh, my genotype has been changed. So you go to the hospital eh, for, for a check, right? So make sure you go and then let it be verified. Yes, very quickly. Okay, the, uh, this is what will happen. If you, you, if you can have two mics so that we just do them concurrently very quickly. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise God. For please sit for a few days. minutes. Years now, I've been dealing with um, ulcer, tonsillitis, back pain, chest pain. Medically verified? Yes. Okay. But there's nothing that has been done. Like anytime I take the drugs, it. What happened move. now? Since yesterday, I prayed and I was like, God, I need your healing. My I God. I'm going through this. And the moment you came in, I've not felt any back pain. I've not felt any. Else. I've not Try to jump. On a normal day, I would Any pain. Eat. Bend down. Nothing, nothing. Bend down. Any pain. Whatsoever. Completely. On a normal day, I do not. Once I wake up from bed, seven o'clock, I would eat. I'm not eating till now, and there's no pain. What in the way? name of Jesus, it never returns to you. In Jesus' name, yes, please. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for the past six years I've been on drugs. Any day I don't take drugs, I won't be able to walk. Even before I came here, I was even struggling to come. I just want. I just believe that God has healed me because if I don't take drugs before we go even go and urinate i will urinate my body if i don't i've been my on God. drugs i've lived Come. a life with drugs don't cry you see you don't understand the value of the power of god until you see what it does to the life of those who have been victimized by darkness you can imagine a wonderful lady like this easing herself on her body just because of some demonic thing oh but jesus but jesus Please stand up, my dear. Don't cry. You will never forget this conference. Hold my hand. I bring you the life and the power of the Spirit. Let it be over forever. Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I have been having a chest a pain in my ribs for months now. Yes. And it emanated like yesterday, started yesterday. There's I... someone, you came here with a boil. Go and check it now. The shock is that you will not even see it again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. As you just prayed now. It left completely. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Just a few minutes for this. The Lord bless you. Yes, please. Church, praise the Lord. I'm really grateful to God because for the past six years, I've been experiencing toothache. And whenever it comes, it normally touches my, in my brain. And I've taken all medications, but no care. I really thank God for healing me. After the what prayers, happened right now? After the prayers, I received instant healing. Instant. Completely. Yes, sir. It will never return to you again. Amen. I stretch my hands towards you and I curse that spirit. I declare you are free. Now you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Quickly. I want to thank God because for about three months ago, I had a revelation. And after that, I usually have pain. And into my prayer, I feel this pain. Yesterday, I was seated and I felt a swollen on my neck and it refused to go. And it was, it, I was feeling very hot. So I told my parents that I'm coming to this place and they will, I will be healed. As I was at the back and you, were, you said something concerning your throat, neck, I placed my hands on that place. And right now, my it's neck gone. is... It's gone. Turn your neck. Any pain. 
any pain come on Port Harcourt any pain in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that every ailment I release the power of God upon you and I declare be healed completely in Jesus name go ahead we may not be able to take Praise everyone the but then let's let's Praise. go ahead please so you said something about someone's throat since me there's something that crawls up my throat then it starts to choke me and tears come out from my eye okay so when you said I didn't want to come out because I can't check it but something said go you're healed oh in the name of Jesus me. come my dear it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit never to return to you again in the name of Jesus yes please service um yesterday and my glasses got broken i've been having this eye pain since february this year so i came to service and with this burning sensation in my eye as soon as you prophesied you mean it, you said the word it just went immediately i am made all i came to return all glory to god in the name of jesus the lord will perfect you you remain whole in jesus name Praise the lord in the space of a year I lost my mom and my sister since then my temperature has always been hot i was the oh one dear. you complained of every time my body is always hot <laughs> but now my body is cold completely completely <laughs> look at me in the name of jesus i declare that devil of darkness leaves your life forever you are made whole now you remain whole forever in jesus name this very quickly let's see if we can take a few just coordinate them let's be... just a few striking testimonies and then we'll pray for the rest yes these are testimonies too pastor what is happening in your church <laughs> Go ahead. I fell about spinal necrosis since I was six. In 2018, I went for a surgery. They said my bone tissues were dying. That your bone tissues were dying. That okay. It regenerate. Okay. So because of that, I always feel sharp pain in my hip. Bone. Sharp. Okay, your hip pain. Yeah. When you mentioned the bone each was gone, I felt completely so run, run, any pain. You move mountains. You cause walls. That's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing here. Hold my hands. You will never need to have a hip replacement. In the name of Jesus, gone and gone forever. Yes, please. For the past about six or seven years ago. I feel this lump down in my lower abdomen. A lump? Yes. Okay. I'm so scared to go to the hospital, so I've been praying about it. And then you made, you made mention of my two cases. Right when I was a child, I had measles and got my left eye partially sighted. And I've been believing God for that. But specifically, this lump. Gone. I can't Press find it. it anymore. Press it. It's gone. Completely gone. Hold my hand, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns by the power of the Holy Ghost. Can we just have two, two or so, so that we're done? Please, just coordinate them in no particular order, please, so that we we'll save time. You know what will happen? Maybe we'll, we'll find you, you can always have some other time to testify in church here. We may not have all the time. I apologize for stretching you beyond the normal time but just to celebrate what God is doing and to celebrate what the word is doing go ahead please quickly praise the Lord for the past four months I've been having my great headache even yesterday before coming to church I had to take pain relief my friend is a witness most times before I know the headache would just come very heavily but immediately pastor declared the word the headache just it's completely the gone in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Where I used to do business, there's something that happened. I, since that time, all my body used to burn. He said, uh, there is uh, this ritual people that drop that something. This what? Ritual people. People that use people for ritual. Oh, they, so cut, they, cut, they, they kidnapped you? They, no, they keep something that in my shop. Okay. I picked it. They drop money. So I thought it was my change. So they drop it uh, in my place. And, and what happened after that? Immediately after that time, all my body was burning. It looks as if, if I didn't know okay. myself again. And now? And now I'm okay. Completely. Completely. Blotting out every handwriting the Bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible declares that he nailed it to his cross. Sir, hold my hand. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let it be gone. Now, out of his life. I pray in the name of Jesus for all of you who have received. I, I so apologize. There are so many people. Sorry, we can't have you. You see, let me tell you, this man, he was not joking. It's true what he said. This ritual, whatever it is. I know what I saw when he was crying. Look at a grown man crying like a baby. Only God knows. I pray for you. Every planting of darkness in and around your life. That is attempting to frustrate the counsel of God over your life. I declare destroyed now. And for all of you who have been healed in the name of Jesus. I release you to experience the grace of God. It will never return. In Jesus name I pray. This is my final session. I want to make an altar call. Please listen to me. It is important that people be saved. It is important that people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Many of you have been here from when the conference started and the Holy Ghost began to speak to you from speaker after speaker. And some of you are in the overflow, some of you are online. I want to make this altar call. We have just a minute. Sincerely, Pastor, forgive me. But right now, I declare that the power of sin satan is broken over your life i'm going to ask you very quickly you're trusting the lord and you're saying apostle here at house on the rock i want to remember this day forever that this was the day that i received the life of jesus this was the day that i allowed the spirit of god to win this war over my life wherever you are as though you are running from fire that is burning on a mountain I'd like you to run quickly and come and stand here. I will just count one to five and then we're done. Please make sure you do not waylay the ministers here. One. Two. Those in the overflows, you don't have to come in. Just move to the front of your projector screen. Move to the front of your projector screen. All of the overflows. Move to the front of your projector screen. Three. Are you coming? Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. House on the Rock, is this how you celebrate salvation? It's time for a fresh start with Jesus. It's time for a fresh start with Jesus. No matter what the past is, He can give you a new beginning. You can start afresh with Him. In the name of Jesus. Now, please look at me. I salute all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the courage to come here. The Bible says, as many, whoever will come to him, that he will in no wise cast away. Please lift your right hand above your head. And I want you to say this passionately and truthfully so. You're not reciting a poem. This is a declaration that becomes your initiation into this life of faith and this life of victory. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and I believe that you are the son of God I believe you shed your blood your life for my sin today I declare that eternal life is mine I declare that you are my savior you are my lord and you are my king I hand over my life to you and I receive yours in exchange.
from today i go forward ever and backward never some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you're crying before your maker in the name of jesus i pray for you that you will enjoy the ministry of the holy spirit i pray for you that the grace to walk in victory may that grace be released upon you i decree and declare that the power of sin the power of satan the power of the flesh is broken over your life forever in the name of jesus your life will become an unending epistle of signs and wonders in jesus name i pray okay now this is what i want you to do very quickly you will return back to your seats just pick your bag your bibles whatever you came to church with and then um you meet them where please help me okay there will be a gentleman waving his hands this gentleman there are a group of people waving their hands you can follow them if you've picked everything that you have please just follow them they will lead you to a room and just follow you up very quickly can you celebrate them as they go please let's stand we're done in the name of jesus christ may the remaining part of this year look like heaven in your life i declare that the realm of the spirit will consistently partner with you for divine results you have carried graces and anointings every dimension of grace required for the next level of your life i release it upon you you return from this conference as signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ and for the members of this church house on the rock port Harcourt, i pray for you in the name of jesus everything that is alive grows therefore i speak over your life grow rise to a new level in the name of jesus the lord continue to bless dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline